Welcome to Acts Christian Church, where you're the head and not the tail. community engagement program. Now, let me tell you something. Today we have somebody that is no stranger to this platform, mm -hmm. Dr. Pearl, who is connected to the Jarrett Foundation. That's correct. And um, she has so many different facets about her. <laughs> now, there's one particular thing about her that I really admire. I'm a very big theatre goer. I love theatre. And First Lady would tell you that right now, Lorraine. I know she's watching, would agree with that. It's right. a great pastime. But Dr. Pearl is opening a new avenue that we can all, in a sense, get involved in the theatre life. But look, she's with us. Thank you so much for joining us oh, today. Thank you, Bishop, for having me. I mean, <laughs> you're just like a ray of sunshine. And we've spoken. Yeah. But I want to talk about the project that you're yeah. engaging in. and. Mm -hmm. uh, how did it come to you, this concept of the theatre and oh how we can be involved in theatre land? Talk to us. It all started about 25 years ago. Wow! Yeah. I didn't know that long. I, I was, my husband and I, my two small children at the time, we were in Disney World. Mm. Oh, is it Disneyland? It's the one in LA. Okay. And we were watching a performance of The Lion King. Oh. And we were enjoying the performance. And then I had a moment, Bishop, when I went, oh, and I said, to, I turned and I said to Eric, I said, we could do this. And he's like, what are you talking about? The theater. <laughs> I said, we could do this. I said, how many singers do we know? Gospel it, singers, um, come on. How many singers, gospel singers do we know mm. that we have grown up with in mm. the church? Mm. I said, all we need is the ability to learn how to act. And we could do this. With this level of excellence, this, it's only money to bring it up to this level of excellence to get this kind of staging, costume, all this kind of stuff. But we could take it with the anointing. Okay, so you're saying <laughs> we have the ability yes. to perform on stage, yes. create our own backdrop sets, cast, and... Um... Everything. Mm. But we have what they don't have. Which is? The anointing. That breaks yokes. That breaks the yoke. Okay. So immediately I, I thought, and I knew it was a God moment because it just kind of hit me upside of the head. And I was like, wow. Anyway, years pass, life happens. It does. And then many years later, I get diagnosed with cancer. Mm. And, and then I thought to myself, right, I'm now going to do, if I, if I, beat this, I'm now going to do all the things I've ever wanted to do. All the things I've ever... Bucket put, list moment, right? Bucket list moment. All the things I ever put on the back burner or all the other things I talked to myself out of. Or I allowed other people to talk me out That's of. Right. I said, enough. Now I have a second chance and I'm just going to live my life. Finish what you started. Go ahead. So one of the things, I made up this list and one of the things on my list, Bishop, was be an actor. Okay. <laughs> So I, I, I did the Jarrett Foundation, I was doing this, doing that, and I went down my list and I write, be an actor. And, and two weeks after I read it on my list, mm -hmm. I was auditioning for drama school. Okay. So I did the most hideous, the most embarrassing audition anyone could do at a drama school. And I just remember the, the, us, the tutor, he was like this. Next. He was to do. <laughs> Next, <laughs> please. He was like this, and then he and then he slammed down his pencil. He said, "Okay, I've had enough." Oh. And, uh, and I, ha, ha, and he goes, "Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you." He, he was just, uh, I, I wanted the ground to open up and swallow me, 
So when he said, all right, everybody, you can go now, I ran out of the building and I crossed the road, got into my car and burst into tears. You must have thought that, what a crush, to some, a, a crushing crushed. defeat to something that you wanted to do all your life. So badly. I wanted to do it so badly and he just, he was disgusted with my audition. <laughs> absolutely disgusted. I cried all the way home. I got home and I was like, Aaron, he's talking and he slammed his pencil. <laughs> and I'm trying to relay the story. And, and, um, and he says, um, and he says, it's okay, I'm going to be fine. It's all right. It won't be fine. Won't be. Two weeks later, I get an email and say, you've got into drama school. Ah. Yeah, exactly. And I said, well, there you I, go. I don't know how that happened. But, um, so I was at drama school. The oldest one in the class, I was 54. Oh, bless. Everybody in the class was the age of my children. It was the most and there was intimidating thing I'd ever done. And I thought, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Perseverance. Eh? Perseverance. And, then, and I kept telling myself, this is what I told myself, keep going because the world is made up of lots of different people. Mm. At some point, somebody is going to need a mother, a black mother yeah. in their 50s to play something they these white girls blonde that look Blue like eye, this yes. size mm. can't audition for that role no. that i need to audition for that role it's fine yes there's a place for everybody that's right so i kept telling myself it's fine you know they can't audition for what you can audition for it's fine and so said so done so done when i <laughs> i got myself an agent and that was my first role i was a mother well, you see, that's a story in itself about perseverance. Yeah. You shall succeed. That's right. You didn't throw in the towel. <laughs> I you wanted said, to. I wa I know, yes. <laughs> and we all come up. But sometimes yeah. things like this yeah. spurs us on. Mm -hmm. That's correct. This is good. That's correct. And I said, nope. So I got myself an agent. And my agent um, started to put me forward for things. I had no idea what I was doing. I'm just like, and it, oh, apparently I'm putting you forward for this. But And I'm like... I, I don't know how to do that. He goes, learn, you learn on the job. Go, go and do it, you're fine. He goes, and I suppose I mess it up. He goes, yeah, I suppose you mess it up. You've Come got on. experience for the next one. It's fine. It's and he process, used to huh? put me forward for things, put me forward for things. I remember when I was, um, the Nat West ad that I did. Oh yeah, <laughs> I hope you, yeah, so people can start Googling and find out, oh, it's that lady. <laughs> How did that come about? So he says, I'm putting you forward for the mother. It's the hero role. I didn't even know what a hero role was. I had no idea. I was like, okay. Hero, I now know the hero role is the lead role. Right. Basically, I, I didn't know. I went, um, okay. And, I, and I'm sitting in the audition room and there's about 20, 30 black women wow. all going for, for the, the same, same role. role. And I, I recognized some of the people and I thought, okay, I've seen you before, I've seen you on TV, I've seen you in a theatre production, I've seen you in a movie, and I'm saying to myself, Pearl, what are you doing? Why are you here? And I had, then I had to stop myself. I, and I, I remember saying to myself, mm -hmm. you have as much right to be here as they do. That's right. And at the end of the day, I, I don't know what they're looking for because sometimes it's something so small. Everybody might do the same audition, but, but they go and they go, but you something. have something or you're unique. And, 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 yes. And they unique. kind of put their finger on it yeah, and they but go, they but, spot but, it. but I, I like the way you did it like that. So I thought to myself, do you know what? Just go in there and just do your best. Yes. That's right. I went in there and I auditioned for it. And they smiled and they were polite, but they were, they were always like Of that. course, you don't you know, know whether yes, no, you, or whatever. You don't know what that means. Go and do your just, thing. You know, and then, and then they come out. And then, and then about two days later, my agent said, oh, you've, you've got a recall. And I was like, oh, you've got a recall. And when I had, they had, they had, I'd got down to the last three. Oh, so that's what a recall means in that the means industry. A recall, that means they've, they've, they've eliminated all the others. And, and these are that. the three that I want to recall. So I get back now to, to the same room mm -hmm. and there's three of us sitting in, in reception and I'm just like, do you know what, God, ah, just, I've got this far, you know. But, but you really wanted it. But I really did want, want it. it. And I said, if you can just, and I said to the Lord, tell me what to do 
so that I do the thing that they're really looking for. Mm -hmm. That was my prayer when I was in reception. But, you tell me the thing to do that, I, that, that they're looking, they're looking for. for but, yeah. And they're saying, because they're saying, if, if I could see this, yeah. then it, whoever does that, they can have the job. I got you. And I don't know what that is. Yeah. But I said, but Holy Spirit told me, you, you tell me what to do, because I don't know what to do. I don't even know what I'm doing, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> so I go in there, and mm -hmm. again, I do, and they want me to, they want me to, to cry and look really kind of, because my, my daughter walks out in her wedding dress out the changing room and she walks towards me, I might need to just be the, and I thought, yeah, I could do that. I can do that. You know, sometimes I often wonder how do they cry on TV and you know? the tears can, come out I their can, eyes. Can, I can you do that? cry a drop of a hat. I could, you, you could say cry now and I could cry. <laughs> Shall I? <laughs> <laughs> because Don't the thing is, me. they make you, they make, they, we get trained in drama oh, school to, to pull on something, a memory mm -hmm. that was really painful. Mm. So I pull on my, when my son was diagnosed with cancer. Oh. And I, if, if I even just remember that, Tightest. I can cry. So that's what you do, you, you pull on something. Okay, never you knew do. that. Yeah. Well, you heard that first <laughs> on our program. <laughs> How does actors cry? <laughs> pull on something. You pull on a memory. That's, that's great. That's, 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 that's what you do. So when it came to, so so then late, uh, two days later, my 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 agent called and said, "Ah, you got the role. You got the role. You got the role." And Wonderful. I'm like, ah, 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 and I'm screaming down the phone. And then when I meet the producer, the producer says to me, "Okay, Pearl, I just want to let you know, your face is going to be everywhere." So I said, "Okay." You was ready for that? I, no, I didn't know what everywhere meant. I just said, okay. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say. Everywhere is everywhere. <laughs> and I said, I said, I said, okay. Bishop, my face was on, oops. Don't my, worry. <laughs> Bishop, my face was on posters. They, I was on the buses, I was on the trains, I was on the adverts. My advert came in the, in, in, in the break for Britain's Got Talent. Oh, I mean, <laughs> millions of viewers. Millions. Every time, every time they went to break, my big face came up. I, we went to the cinema to, to watch um, um, Black Panther. Mm -hmm. And we're all sitting there. My advert comes up. My son gets up. That's my mum. And I was like, <laughs> shh, sit down. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> I just, it was I'm so everywhere. Proud. And I just thought... Suppose I had left drama school and yeah. walked out because I felt so intimidated. Yes, just even that guy putting the pen down as if to say, yeah, I'm all disgusting. Of that. <laughs> my, but look, 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 look at you now. Yeah. Well, look, yeah. fast forward. Fast forward. You are doing something brilliant. You're creating a drama ahead. school. Well, more than that, and creating an industry. I love that. That is different. An industry. An industry. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. I've been doing, since then, I've been doing more commercials, theatre, mm -hmm. movies, TV. Um, but I kept seeing and kept having that feeling that I had when I was in L.A. watching The Lion King 25 years ago. So after I had done a movie, they had sent me to Belize, Bishop. I was in Belize for three oh, weeks so filming this movie for the Hallmark Channel. Come on. And, and I was only on set for three days, but I was there for three weeks. The rest of the time, they paid me to be on the beach. And I know. And I thought to myself, is this how the other half live? <laughs> I just, I'm Go like, for it. I'm yeah. like, okay. So after that, <laughs> it was a bit like that. Yeah. I'm it's so happy for literally, you. Literally, literally, if I went, if I went... <coughs> People would come running, oh, talking into their sleeve, pearl needs cough mixture, pearl needs cough mixture, where's the cough And somebody would come running, I was like, ah, oh, you know, it's a, oh, a cough mixture would arrive. And I just think, no wonder these Good people turn into divas. This is why they turn into divas, because they are just treated like this, with, you know. If, if I said, one day I said, so randomly, I said, I said, oh, you know, remember, do you know who, Hula hoops. I and they had hula hoops for years, and we're talking hula hoops. They sent somebody out to the shops hunting for hula hoops to bring them. Through. I didn't even ask for a hula hoop. But oh, oh, you see, like hula hoops, oh, we went nice. to find you hula hoops. And I just thought, okay. That's I, how the I, other I, half I, lives, right? I can see why some people are just so difficult because they used to be treated. This like is a this. real insight into yes. the industry oh, what you're talking gosh. about yeah. but i love the turn that you're taking yeah 
with this industry from your project? Because Tell that film, I, that film, I had the opportunity to go to LA mm -hmm. to go and do some stuff and go and do, get a new agent over there and do some stuff. This mm -hmm. was post that, that, that movie. And I said, no, I want to start something here. So I had a flight booked and everything and I canceled my flight. Canceled the flight to LA, didn't go. What? Did not go, did not go. I said, I, I, want, to, I want to do that thing that I saw. So what I did was I, I did the first element because I want to build an industry, as I said, I, there are these seven mountains, there are these seven mountains of influence and one of them is the mountain of entertainment. No, just before you go any further, an opportunity presented itself to you. Yes. And you said no. Yeah, I didn't go. I, can't, I had a Virgin flight booked and called them up and said, I'm, I'm, I'm not going anymore. Can, I, can you refund my ticket? So this was like a conviction that you needed yeah, to yeah. finish I, what you started. I, I, need to, I need to do that thing that God showed me 25 years ago. That's amazing. So I didn't go. And then I said, then I, this is the thing. I went back to my drama school, because mm -hmm. I've been in drama school for four years. Mm -hmm. I went back to my drama school to get my tutor, the one I liked the most, the one I thought was the most excellent, told him what I wanted to do. I said, I want to start a drama school for the gospel music industry, for the black church, basically. Um, I said, can you help me? He said, I'm in. I said, you said, you said that really quickly. Um, <laughs> Just went for it. I said, yeah. He goes, he goes I'm in. That sounds amazing. I'm in. So now the tutor that taught me at drama school now works for me. Hold on a minute. <laughs> <sighs> I love stories like this because it just shows that you can uh, land on your feet oh, once gosh. you're in the will of God, yeah. ultimately yeah. in his will. Amen. So that's brilliant. And, and the industry that you are moving into mm -hmm. or have started, mm -hmm. is there anything else like that out here? No. Have we got anything no. like there is mirrors no, it? No. There is no drama school. There is no drama school specifically dedicated to black people gospel church or the black church there are drama schools generally mm -hmm. and there are a couple that i know who that are run by christians but 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 us no and what makes this unique and different from your own convictions what makes this unique different to Be anything else that is out there okay because it aligns with what god showed me that's nice it aligns with the fact that we have the singing Mm -hmm. We have the musicianship. We certainly do. If we could couple that with training, professional training, we have everything we need to take the same thing to an audience that me and you would go and watch whenever. Yes, we do. But then now we're watching it under the anointing and then something happens. Because <laughs> I have this vision of people being saved or even slain in the spirit and, and they don't know what's happening something is happening and they don't know why because worship is happening and something is happening it's to beautiful. them and they don't know why it's still a, a, well you're describing also a way of witness as well um bringing the gospel to people yes um not just by preaching behind a lectern performing but... arts that's what it is it's the gospel brought to you in performing arts so performing arts is something where people are used to that. They're just not used to the way we're going to bring it to them. It's going to blow their minds, absolutely blow their minds. But here's a twist. So I've got people that said to me now, because I've launched the school. How long has so, the school been going? Um, it's probably been going probably about four or five months now. Yeah. And, I, and I just did it sort of little, little, because I just wanted of to course, kind of test the water. The waters. Test the water, see anybody interested, anybody interested. To, um, to, uh, 250 people, and, and I've literally just done just a little. You mean interest? 250 people already said I'm in. That's good. That's really um, good. Um, That's um, at Very least good. at least six of those are pastors. Already, um, pastors. Some pastors. And I remember the day when pastors used to preach against all this kind of thing, and they didn't want you to be actors, and didn't want you to do that didn't want you to be formed. I remember the days growing up, people didn't even like you watching telly. Or they going to cinema. Going to, cin going to cinema was we a sin. cinema. <laughs> you remember those days? That's not where God lived. <laughs> the devil, the devil's in the cinema. <laughs> and all those kind of, all those kind of, now to have pastors involve what I'm that's doing, good. that's a real turn. When you say that's pastors switch. involve platform and also covering you as well? Yes. 
Yes. So pastors are involved, like Pastor um, Ade Amuba. Good guy. MBE. He is involved. He's our covering. Mm -hmm. So he has just like said, well, I went to see him and I explained to him what I was doing and he was immediate, he loved it. He goes, I love it, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. And I, and I, and I said, so Bishop, the more and more I think about this, the more and more I think, oh my gosh, I'm going into the devil's territory, I need some covering. I said, he says, absolutely, absolutely. So I'm like, thank you, thank you very much. And, um, but we've also got pastors who are learning to be actors. I kid you not, I've got pastors right now who are going through the school, doing the program and being taught by the principal and becoming actors. That's good. I know. I'm it's happy about that. It's amazing. Maybe it's they've amazing. always had that intuition from yeah. day one, yeah. but never found a, an outlet. And along comes this performing arts. <laughs> and they've said, Eureka, this yes. is it. Yeah. And an opportunity. some people have said, Bishop, I don't, I don't want to be an actor, but I am a graphic designer. Do you need somebody to design your sets? Yes. Yes. <laughs> some people say, I write songs. Do you need somebody to write you songs? Co yes. How about costumes? This somebody said, do you need somebody to design your costumes? I said, yes. So that's why now it's not just a drama school. It's an industry because there is something for everyone. If you want to be a sound engineer, we can find a place for you. If you want to be the lighting guy, we can find a place for you. If you want to be one of the mothers of Zion that come in every show and pray over the, Z the seats, there is a place for you. I love this very much because I'm sure, um, I mean, let me tell you, there are loads of different, I mean, not dropping any names, but yeah. Um, Mr. Lloyd Webber. Yes. He's done a lot of Christian plays, hasn't a lot, he? A lot, a lot. But can you imagine if you put on Esther? Can you, I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's just one. I'm not saying and anything that's else. That's just one. I'm not saying, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Anyone that we pick, anyone that we pick, and we say, this is what we're going to do. It will be absolutely incredible. And what I'm finding out now, I'm excited to talk about it, the church, there's so many people in the performing arts in the church. So there's, we've now got in the school, some people that have no experience whatsoever, none. They've, they've always wanted to do it, taught themselves out of it, and they have not done it since the, the Sunday school play when they were five, but they've still been inside them. And they said, I'd love to do it. So they're here. But then you've got some people got who point. are already acting in theatre yep. right now, yep. but they're Christians and they say, I'd like to be involved in what you're doing. And then there are professionals that, you know, that's all they do. They don't do it part time, they do it full time. And they're like, I love what you're doing. I'd love to be involved. So we have a, we have a range of people. So when we go to put on our performance, it will be an amalgamation of the ones we've taught in the school. I love it. Plus the, the part-time ones and plus the, the full-time ones. And we put something on and it's excellent. Dr. Pearl, you know what? This is, this is good. We are looking. I want you to look into that camera and, and speak to someone who may be just on the verge of saying, you know, this is exactly what I want to do. What's my next step? Okay, tell them. What's the next so, step? So, first of all, it doesn't matter what age you are. You heard, I went to drama school in my 50s. I was 54 years old. Wow. People seem to be very inspired by me. Most of the people in my drama school are my age. So if you are the other end of 50, <laughs> Uh, upwards, You're looking good there though, Dr. is, Pearl. thank you, there is a place for you in the industry. Yeah. You don't have to, you don't have to just take up knitting. Listen, if you like knitting, <laughs> if you like knitting, then that's fine. But it's not because you feel that's, that, that's it. Yes, there's nothing more for there's me. There's nothing more for me. That's not true. And then young people now are starting to come on. <laughs> I attracted my age, but now lots of young people are starting to come on board. If you want to be on the stage, you need to get involved. If you want to be just in the industry, doing something, you can get involved. Can get and if you, all you need to do is you need to, there's gonna be a link, click on the link, 
or there's going to be a QR code. Scan the QR code and that's going to take you to our free newsletter. Okay, wow. so that's the first thing you need to do. On the newsletter, on that form, you will see, say, it will say, tick here if you want to be involved or tick here if you just want to be informed. Because some people, you might not want to be involved, no, but you involved are happy, informed. you are happy to come to the performances when we put them on. So that might be you, like, just tell me when you've done it <laughs> and I'll come and see it. Or you might say, do you know what, I want to be involved. If you tick the I want to be involved, it will take you to a skills form. Mm. It will automatically take you to another form, which is a skills form. And the skills form will say, what do you do now? So you might say, I act, I sing, I play the drums, da 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 da. And you might say, okay, what are the things you want to learn? Okay, I want to learn how to act, I want to learn how to act through song, I want to learn how to write scripts, and, we, and then we will put you in different categories. So when I email you, I'm only emailing you about the things that you're interested in. Right. So I'm not trying to tell you about the acting course when you just want to write songs. So if you fill in the, the form, mm -hmm. the skills form, it will tell us who you are, what you do now, what you would like to do, and then we'll slot you in there and then we'll all move together in tandem. Okay, you heard it. You heard it directly <laughs> from Dr. Pearl. Now watch this. The vision. Mm. What can you see? Oh my gosh. This turning into. Oh it's going to turn this world, uh, oh, the, uh, not upside down, upside up. Upside up. <laughs> what can I you see? What's your see, vision? I see us taking this mountain. Again, there are seven mountains of influence. Mm -hmm. We have to turn into Caleb and say, give me that mountain, mm -hmm. right? And then once you have it now, what can we do with it? We can do anything with it. We can just get creative. See, the thing is, I want us to write our own plays. Yes. Direct our own plays. Yes. Write our own songs to go with them. Yes. And then we put them on in theatres. We tour them. By our own theatres. We, Bishop, That's don't funny. leave me hanging. All right. We buy our own theatres. We oh, put on our own plays and we tour them yeah. throughout the UK yeah. and we end up at the West End and we put on our own West End performance. Some of these West End performances Speak have here. been running for 20 years. Yes, and even longer, the Mousetrap. Mousetrap. Not even to drop the name, but the, the 70 years, is it? Uh, uh, probably older than most of our children. Wow. Mousetrap has what? been going. The longest. Right. Now, if you imagine, hear this now, if you imagine... Say so you get a ticket for Mousetrap, right? So we own the Mousetrap. We own, we wrote it, we owned it, mm. right? So you're in a theater of a thousand people, right? Each one of those tickets may go from 40 to 150 pounds. Yes, right? Have you have eight performances a week wow. because you have a matinee on a Saturday, wow. right? So you have eight performances a week and you have them on every single week of the year. You are making millions per week. Not per month, not per year, yeah. per week. Yeah. If we decide to do this and move into that space, that is wealth transfer. Yes. I'm sure you'll be sewing back into the community, into organizations 100%. that need to... That's what Jarrett Foundation does with the £2.50 that we have. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do that's our function our function is to help people it's to sew into people it's to send stuff abroad it's to it's to do all kinds of things we do that now right. it will enable us to do so much more but not just us anybody who is involved in a production will be paid of course of course we'll be paid so the, the your skill can now make money for you Amen without you having to compromise your faith. Yes. Because one of the things um, that I don't like about this industry is a lot of the things they churn out are demonic. Mm -hmm. So I turn down a lot of stuff. My agent, I mean, what, a couple of things slip through, but you know, and they come to me and, and I'm like, I'm not, why did you send me this? I'm, you know I'm not doing, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 I understand, Pearl, I understand, yeah, yeah. But a lot of the stuff, they know I'm not, I'm not taking my clothes off. I am not doing nothing witchcraft. I'm not, and I said, don't, don't, um, don't send it to me. I'm not doing it. I hear you. Though some people will do it and they say, well, it's just a job. Mm. 
It's just a job. This is fine. Pays no, the bills. It's, yeah, pays the bills. It's just, it's just a job. Not everyone to their own. I'm not criticizing anybody. Me personally, I don't want to compromise my faith in order to get that job. I don't but if want the to do industry it. set up right and running correctly, Aye. there would be no compromisation going on at all. It'd be all legitimate, it will all be ethical, and everyone will be able to do what they need to do and want to do because there's a space created for it to happen. Exactly. And we run arts. it the way we want to run it without anybody else's agenda. That's the thing. Everything in the world has an agenda attached to it. Mm -hmm. Everything. And I look at it and I just thought, no, I'm not down with that. I'm not down with that. I'm not down with that. So, no, I, I, there's no point in me going to audition for that because I don't, I don't want the job. Well, I'm encouraged very much indeed <laughs> because this is the first time um, we've, we've interviewed before, but this is a whole new level mm. of opportunity with the basis of industry and yes. the performing arts coming yes. out from a great root, which is yourself, the ah. foundation with ethics attached to it. And it's not selfish. You want to invite people to come with their yes. gifts and their abilities. Correct. To be a part of this organization, that they can do the things that they've always wanted to do in the theatre and land. And I'm going to live with these two eyes <laughs> to see it come to pass. And I'll be watching this interview over and over again and saying, Look at that, Dr. Pearl. Everything we talk has come to pass. It's funny you should say about it's not selfish because we have um, already groups of people within GSPA, that, 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 that's the Gospel School for the Performing Arts, who put on their own plays. And, and, and when, when we get together, sometimes we just have this thing we call the gathering. We all just sit together, we have some food and we sit and we chat, talk about the industry and what we want to build. And I called up one of them onto the stage um, one time, and he said, he goes, Pearl, well, this is so amazing to me because we, we tend to put on plays in our own little silos. Mm -hmm. I do mine over here, and you, you do yours over corner, there. Right, yes. He goes, this, is, this, this organization pulls us all together where we can support each other. And he says, it's amazing because I've never had this kind of support before. And we say to the 250 people on our thing, we say, well, you know, um, um, Alan Charles has got a play on. Come on, everybody buy tickets. Let's go and support Alan. That's a good guy. And we go and support that's Alan. That's what it needs. And he was just so overwhelmed. That's, that's what it needs. That's how it needs to happen. And then we say, Mark Gray, Mark Gray has a play coming up. Come on, everybody, GSPA, let's support Mark Gray. And we all go and support Mark Gray. So we're not, we're not precious about stuff. It's about us as a collective, working together. That's the whole point of a body. Yes. But sometimes people don't understand that this is the point of a body. And they think, well, I am the arm, so I can do without my toe. No, we can't. And you can't, because you can't stand up. <laughs> Well, Ch let's chop off your phone, and <laughs> chop off your toe, and see how you get on. <laughs> We're going to be praying for the success of this. I'm excited about it, and I love the spiritual covering and the accountability yes. that you do have. It's not something that, oh, that it's something from your heart. Yes. But you've got incredible men and women of God that yes. are praying with you, supporting you, believing in your vision. This must come to pass. Amen. It must, Amen. because it's missing. <laughs> we need it. And the amount of, uh, my, my niece, I know she's going to be listening to this. Yeah. She's done some incredible things in oh, acting. She's always wanted wow. to be in that industry. And it was really good seeing what she's doing lately. So I know there is this avenue that needs to be really looked at. I would love to connect with her and say, come and join us. Because we could use her expertise. Come and join us. Come and join us. We could use your expertise. As I said, we want people good. from all levels so that the people who are in it for a while and you've got some experience, you can help the ones that are coming through. This would be great. That would be good. Well, you heard it first. <laughs> Here, Performing Arts, yes, Dr. Yes. Pearl and her foundation. Um, we want you to pray into this. I want you to follow the instructions, the QR code. Yes. Come on, sign up to this. It's something they've always wanted to do. That's right. Get into the performing arts. Come on, how much thousands have we spent over the years sitting in good tickets or nosebleed tickets to watch something that we really feel um, has, has invited us to come watch? That's come right. on, let's turn that and support our own. And you're going to see that. One day her name will be in lights. <laughs> our names. Come on. <laughs> 
This could be the beginning of something new. I, you know, I feel led. I want to pray with her because I think this is a marvelous, Amen. marvelous Amen. idea Amen. and needs to be supported. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, I Jesus. thank you so much for Dr. Pearl. I thank you for this interview. I've learned so much. I thank you for her passion. <laughs> Father, I thank you for your enthusiasm. She's just ready to go for this. I pray every door will open for Amen. her. I pray, Father, those watching, even this interview at this moment, Father, will be urged to get off their seats and begin to locate her and find her and mm -hmm. say, you know, this is what I've always wanted to do. Amen. Thank God for your life. Ooh. Also, Father, we pray that this will prosper. And Father, in months to come, Father, we will sit in a good seat in the theater. Amen. <laughs> and watch the performing arts. Yes. The vision becomes a reality. We pray. Bless her as we give you thanks mm. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That was good. <laughs> that was good. Thanks for joining us. Um, please, as you know, my heart's desire is just to bring the community to you. And remember, you're the head and not the tail. Not the tail. God bless you. Christian Church, where you're the head and not the tail.